is that Britain is one of the worst offenders when it comes to this wealth gap compared to other countries, those on the continent perhaps. Why is that? What is it that they're doing that we're not doing, which means that there isn't this massive divide between the haves and the have-nots? Yeah, I mean, I think there are two aspects. Obviously, I've already touched on trade union rights, and I think that's an important one. And, and in the UK, we did see the eroding of trade union rights, particularly um, in the Thatcher era, and we've not seen that restored since. I think that's a big one. I think another thing is also the composition of the UK economy. And obviously, the financial sector plays a, is a big one, and that's, that has a, a big impact on, on this inequality. Whereas I think in other countries, there's, there's a kind of wider spread of different industries. And I think like it is worth noting in, in terms of that is what we saw. There was a really interesting FT piece earlier this year, Financial Times piece, um, which showed that actually the top top decile, the top sort of 10% of uh, Brits do quite well compared to other Europeans. But in terms of like our medium and sort of uh, middle and lower income uh, workers, we're, we're comparable to countries in, in who used to be part of the some of them who used to be part of the Eastern Bloc, we've obviously had a, a much more difficult path. So I think I do think it is something about saying that we need need pay a bit a bit more equally in companies to make people feel that they're part of of the companies that they're that they're working for and to really inspire greater productivity.